before we start this, I just want to say y'all, thank you for 34 subscribers. I know it's very small, but I never thought I'd make it this far. So, I want to thank you. Hello. Yeah, I knew that me not making a video in February was going to happen. It's the shortest month and I had posted my January video in February, so that happens. I am a person with a life outside of this. I have school and just stuff I like to do in general that's not just art, so please don't get mad at me if I go like a month without posting. The once a month rule is really just me trying to keep a consistent schedule. Um. But this is one of the song-based dragons, like you guys voted for in the last video. I really hope you like it. I will not mention the name of the song in the video because I am unaware of how copyright works on YouTube. And whenever I tried to ask, I got answers about, like, using an actual song in a video, but not actually just giving the name of it and saying it. So, I'm just gonna post the link to it in the comments, and let you guys listen to it for yourselves, okay? So, now I'd like to introduce to you the subject of the speed paint. This is Field Fair the Skywing. He is a charlatan character, I guess you could say. Which means he has to move around a lot, especially if he's caught lying about what he does, or if he's actually- his tricks are seen through. Which is part of why I gave him the name Field Fair. Someone recommended the name Robin, so I looked in the same genus as Robin's and I found this bird. Field Fairs are heavily migratory and their names literally are those who fly through fields, so I thought this would be great for him, to show that he would have to move around a lot. Though, this drawing gave me quite a bit of strife because of my own design faulting. First of all, I made him a Skywing. That is the worst decision you can make other than making them a Rainwing, because drawing Skywing scales sucks. I will have a little counter of how many times I redrew the scales. It was more than three. Rainwings are even worse, because they have no order to them at all. And also, I had to draw a scarf. I have no idea how to draw fabric at all. So I'm kind of just winging it here. But otherwise for that, I don't really have as many traits for Field Fair as I thought, which is why this whole thing was kind of like things. Like, I want to see what you guys think about him before I really like set things in stone, because I'm a, kind of a big fan of this guy. Out of the song generator dragons, he's probably one of the ones I've developed the most. So, I'm just really excited to see how you think of him. And as we get more and more, we can see how he would interact with the other characters I've made. Because I've made a lot of others. A lot of them don't have names yet. This guy was literally named well. I was just finished with this art. L literally while the editing of this video is in process, so... Yeah, this is not very, uh professional as you can tell but hey we're getting something going okay so that's really all i have to say for him but yeah i think he's just pretty cool in general i'm sorry for rambling on but here we are and i'd like to thank all the people who like recommended colors for the table slash wall in front of him and to the people who recommended like the, what to do for lighting. I just backlit him with a window because I really couldn't think of what to do. And after this video, um, you guys see are really still canvas during the videos, but I'm gonna show you what I see, cause like, 
There's a lot of twisting and turning when I shave. That's- you've seen it if you watch like some of my original videos on the Unsibs uh, AU, which is... Like, the Unsibs AU is just an AU that I really need to develop, honestly. But like... Um... I will show you a little snippet of this after the video, which is now, I guess, so here we are. Yeah, it's just like the old videos that make you really dizzy. This is what I see while I'm drawing. It's... It's pretty interesting to see the different perspectives. Yeah, as you can see... Um, well this isn't the best example. I had another one, but I don't know where it went. Uh, there's a lot of rotation in it, and that's why uh, in the old videos you could easily get very dizzy watching my sub. But I want to say one thing again. Thank you all for all the interaction I've had with you, and thank you for 34 subscribers. I did not know I would even get to over 30, so thank you. And I got from 20 to 30 so fast, it's amazing. Seriously, thank you, I had no idea. I know this isn't a big milestone, but it is to me, because... I just didn't realize there could be so many of you, so thank you. And this is Tin Moose saying goodbye. I'm out, and I will see if I can hopefully get another video released in April. I don't know if I will be able to, but since I'm releasing this one hopefully before the middle of March, I probably can. So, see you in the next one, guys.